Hello, hello. This is Nemo. So today I'm going to talk about Kiklavikify, uh, Tailwind, and Shaxian. So I'm doing an open source project uh, to use Tailwind, C uh, Tailwind CSS and Shaxian with Kiklock. Uh, so I'm using Kiklavikify uh, as, a, as, as a backbone of the project. So if you know me for a very really long time, I'm in love with Kiklock, uh, Kiklock and uh, I, overall I love open source projects. So this attempt is to reduce on the burden for somebody who want to customize uh, Kikilok, uh, Kikilok. Uh, to be honest, Kikilokify is a very good uh, a starting point, but if you really want to customize everything, it takes forever. So in this attempt, uh, I am trying to uh, minimize the amount of the effort that you need uh, to customize kick lock. Uh, so what I mean by that is it is that uh, I am separating most of the components, for example, the buttons, the way that they do buttons uh, and everything. So with the help of the Shatsian, uh, I'm using the Shatsian components and I'm separating the components. And uh, you can just in one place, you can, uh, you can for example, uh, style your component and then uh, the entire thing will be updated. Okay, so this one is the uh, ultimate goal. Uh, so I'm not sure how successful I am in this regard. <laughs> so you, and for for example, or for example, you can just change the stylings and so on. This kind of thing. So you just go to the global CSS and change the styling, and the entire thing become updated. So yeah, so this one is the first, very first attempt. So and I would like to contribute. Uh, I I'm really hope. Uh, I'm hoping that uh, I can find other contributors. Uh, to help me on this project, so it is a very ambitious project. Uh, but uh, never mind. Uh, let's go to the demo. So okay, so this one is a GitHub repository. I will put the link uh, for the GitHub repository uh, below this video. So if you come to the GitHub repository and you click on this storybook, okay, so it will bring you to the page that uh, I host the uh, storybooks, okay. So as you can see, all um, for the login page, I, I haven't started the uh, rest of the pages, but for the login page, I almost cover all the pages by the kick lock. Okay. So beside that, also uh, now this one is a storybook, so it won't. I, I believe that it won't work. Okay. Uh, or maybe also it work. Yeah, yeah, it work. Okay. So but uh, in overall, also you have a dark mode and uh, light mode and those kind of things. And the languages, those kind of things also, I still maintain it, okay? So what I was saying at the beginning is uh, is this, for example, if you want to do something, for example, like button, okay? So what you can do is that you can just only go to, let me I show you the code as well, okay? So, okay. So you can just go to the components and go to the button and just you change the styling here, okay? So, and then the all the buttons in the, for example, all the buttons in here will be get updated. Uh, wait a second. Let me go to the other one. Okay. All the buttons in, in the entire UI will be getting updated. Okay. So it is much much easier because with the Kikilakify, what what it does that uh, I love Kikilakify is one of the best <laughs> open source project that I have ever seen. But uh, the Kikilakify only translate the existing Kiklock, uh UIs, HTML, this kind of things uh, to React components. Uh, this is a very good a starting point, but if you want to do something more serious, if, not, if you want to convert all of them, you have to go and do a lot of job, okay? However, if, for example, in one place you can change, uh, for example, all the components, okay? For example, it means that you have only a component list. Or I have a storybook for the component list also, okay? So, for example, this one is a storybook for component lists, okay? So, for example, if, for example, in here you just change the component in here, so the life would be much, much easier, right? And most of the things that it is common among them, I already uh, did a storybook, for example, for example, checkbox, inputs. And for example, for example, if you want to, for example, customize your input, you just go and change the styling for your input. You don't need to go to the entire code uh, and, for example, do the kick lockify and those kind of things. If you are familiar with the kick lockify, the way it works is that you go to the kick lockify, after that, you do few commands. Okay, the ones that it is very, the two one that it is very useful is a eject page and add a story. So if you see the eject page and the add a story, 
it will create something like this for you. For example, delete account confirm. So this one is a page and he will produce a, a storybook for, for you as well also. So both the storybook and the page, okay? So after that, you go there and you start customizing the things one by one, okay? So this one, yeah, it's very painful, man. So it, because it's too many pages, okay? However, I'm doing this heavy lifting. It means that I'm doing, I just, for example, replacing all the buttons, all the labels, all the inputs, everything with that. And after that, the story works also, I'm doing it on top. So yeah, so it was quiet. It is, this one is quite a big project. So besides that, also one, one thing that I do that previously the key clock, it was missing. Uh, I, I'm not sure, uh, for example, which page is it follow under this category, but uh some of the pages for i think the terms was was a good example i think i remember terms was having this issue yeah so for example i i know i think the terms is not this one so for example some of the pages or maybe register yeah let me check register yeah okay for example for example something like register okay so for example with terms acceptance okay so some of the cases it means that some of the scenarios for the what what to call uh some of the scenarios for the um uh, for the story books is missing so i'm trying to have a full coverage for the entire code it means that for example all the condition of the uis I'm, I'm trying to cover it because uh for example you change for example some styling but for example uh, there are a lot of hidden conditions inside the code that uh the original kick lockify does not support so what will happen is that for example you change everything you are very happy but after that for example maybe the configuration is different or something uh and after that for example you go to the production and see that oh uh this thing is missing or that thing is missing so uh, i'm trying to cover everything okay so this is another thing that it is so you see i'm, I'm covering a lot of pages so yeah so this one is a full uh full demo so it is written on tailwind and shatsian and uh right uh react tailwind shatsian and for example uh these kind of things so I I have a list of uh, if you want to get uh, familiar with the key clockify so I have a cheat sheet so this one uh, I will uh, I will put this mind map uh, under the this video so you can go to look in for example all the cheat sheet for example I have useful commands and anything okay so if if I find any bugs for example where is the starting point for example okay this one is a video uh, published by key clockify and those kind of things so for example you can go to all the videos and for example some of the tricks some of the things that I find out, or for example, some of the pages that they are more complicated. Okay, for example, something like a user profile from fields. Uh, this one is a more complicated uh, page. Okay, so I explain. So for example, I write down uh, what is the entire code. Okay, so explain. For example, how is the hierarchy of the, for example, the entire thing. So I I have a habit of overall documenting when I'm coding. Okay, so because uh, you know I'm getting old and. <laughs> Some of my course is now in production for more than six or seven years. Some of them even, for example, more than 10 years. So the thing that it is is that after 10 years, you want to go back to a code. Uh, what will happen is that you forgot what you did and you were young. Now you are 33 years old. <laughs> so you were writing this code in 24. So documentation is always a key for remembering and supporting the legacy products. And this one also easier to pass to people. This one is another reason also I like documentation. But anyway, uh, I put the uh, all the uh, I put the all the resources down there. So this one is my notes. After that, the GitHub page and the storybook uh, sample. I'm I will really appreciate if you guys uh, could uh, contribute in GitHub. So this one I uh, we can do a pull request those kind of things. Uh, it doesn't matter. So yeah, so please uh, give me a star on GitHub. I really appreciate that. Please share, like, subscribe here also. So thank you for watching.